Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bullish trend or any bearish reversal signal what's going on with the stock market world. Let's move to trading view and we will figure out. Uh, let's, uh, okay, it's a trading view, stock heat map. Looks like you see the technology, yeah, all red, mega, especially mega stocks, mega stock negatives, finance kind of green, partially green, uh, retail, Amazon negative. Looks like, yeah, the, uh, electronic technology, technology all kind of red. Other greens, that's what we have. That's what we have, very nice. Technology weakest. Like use the weakest index. Yeah, we will do. Let's let's talk. We will do technical review and we will figure out technical analysis. We will do and we will figure out. Before that, if you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup uh, video training and other links about all my trainings. Let's start it. Let's start it. Let's start it like I said from uh, before. Let me briefly mention about my setup. Okay, it's a buy and sell mode. Buy and sell script. I'm using. Let me yeah. Let me briefly mention about my setup. Buy and sell script. Moving averages. I'm using. MA, uh, SMA 200 white line, SMA 10 red line, SMA uh, 5 green line, and EMA 20 yellow line. Volume bars and uh, MACD indicator, green line it's a bullish, red line it's a bearish, white line it's a signal line. Also histogram and Heiko Nachi with RSI. RSI it's a yellow line, Heikonachi bars green it's a bullish, red it's a bearish. Similar with the regular bars, red it's a bearish, green it's a bullish. Okay, let's start it. That's very simple, very simple and but it's not easy because of your emotions involved. But if you trust your indicators, indicators do not, do not, indicators do not have emotions and you will be successful. Just follow your indicators and my trend just follow the indicator signal when all indicators align in the same trend direction. For me, it's a full confirmation and I do follow the market direction. I don't fight with the market. I don't do predictions. I just follow the market. If market change direction, I do change direction. Like here, cues on daily time frame, you see they all change direction to bearish. And uh, for swing trading, I'm using four hours on daily time frame for entry and exit position. Let's start it. Let's start it. <coughs> volume, we see volume decreasing. Price action is increasing. Price action is uptrend every day, but volume is downtrend every day. That's what we have. And uh, you see from this point to this point, price action uptrend. A MACD has bearish divergence. On the histogram on the MACD are, uh, lines, uh, also RSI has divergence, multiple bearish divergences on all indicators, included volume. Bearish divergences on all indicators. MA5 ready for bearish crossover over 10. Uh, MACD already did bearish crossover, change color from green to red, bearish. I can actually change color from green to red bearish. Bearish reversal signal on daily time frame for Q's. Like I said, Q's the weakest index. Let's check four hours time frame for Q's and we will see. Four hours time frame, let's sell signal on the script. MA5 did bearish crossover. And you see they all, yeah, MA5 and 10, they both uptrend. They are changing direction to downtrend. MA20 was uptrend, now it's changing kind of curl down. MACD red bearish reversal signal, Heikonachi red bearish reversal signal. Histogram on MACD, all indicators change to bearish reversal signal on 4 hours time frame for Qs. Let's move to 1 hour time frame. 
Uh, it was sell, buy, sell, buy, kind of flat for last couple days. On the way CD, it's flat back and forth between green and red colors. Same on histogram. Same on Heikonachi on RSI. It's kind of dancing between zero line. It's a flat, flat trend. But it's getting negative. We see the MA20 was uptrend. It was bullish. Now it's changing direction to bearish. On one hour time frame, it is kind of flat to negative direction. Four hours time frame negative and daily negative for for Qs. That's the weakest index. Let's move to SPY. SPY is a different picture. Let me show you this. Trend lines. Let me show you weekly time frame. Two trend lines started from the top of the market 14 months ago, long time ago. And we still try in the recent, like recent weeks, this is weekly time frame. For recent uh, couple months, it's still dancing between these two trend lines up and down. Uh, and currently we are at the at the upper level, still still bullish. Actually, it can be. I think it's yeah, still bullish, still bullish on the um, yeah moving averages, still bullish. MACD is still bullish. High RSI is still bullish. Bullish on daily time frame, no changes. And buy signal on the, on the, on the mode, on the script. Let's check for hours. SPX, S&P 500, still bullish. Four hours time frame, it is different, a little bit different picture. It's kind of flat sideways for several days. It was sell signal, buy signal. Now it's a bullish, my 5 bit bullish crossover, it's a positive. MACD is still negative, still red. Heikonachi was red bearish, now it's a green bullish. It's a sideways, it's a flat. It doesn't go anywhere so far. It's kind of sideways. Still positive because it's, it's all moving averages about 220. It is positive. One hour time frame for SPX. Uh, it is bullish, but last hour it did sell off. But still bullish on all indicators, right? All indicators still green. MACD green, Heikonachi green, all indicators still bullish. And it's like I said, it's flat for last couple, three days. For last several days. Okay, SPX still bullish, still positive. Dow Jones, similar like SPX. It's a bullish, you see this major, let me weekly show the weekly trend line. There's two trend lines, red and green, started from the top of the market 14 months ago. Still bullish, let me kind of correct it. Yeah, like this one. Uh, we are close to the upper level, upper trend line. On the weekly time frame, on daily, you see it's kind of dancing around this trend line. But, and the lower, lower one is a green one. And you see price action was, let me show you. Price action was uptrend. From here, right, uptrend direction, price action. But on, on volume, it's a downtrend direction. On volume, downtrend direction, it's a bearish divergence. On the MACD, still bullish green. Heikonachi is still bullish green. Are assigned over bad territory. It means it wants to go bearish. It wants to go bearish, but still bullish. Still bullish. But positive signal, bullish signal. On 4 hours time frame, similar, still bullish on 4 hours time frame. MACD kind of ready for bearish crossover, but still bullish on all indicators. Still bullish on RSI, still on overbought territory. It's building bearish divergence on RSI. Look at it, RSI. From this point to this point, downtrend, right? But price action, price action here, look at it. It's up. Uh, this line doesn't show perfect direction. Uh, let me create new line. From this point to this point, it is bearish. It is bullish, right? Price action. On RSI, it is bearish. 
on on MACD histogram, it is bearish divergence, right? That's what we see. We see multiple bearish divergences. Price action is uptrend, volume is decreasing, and in in bearish divergences on the MACD and and RSI, it it's building. It wants to do bearish reversal, but it's building the divergences. On one hour time frame, it's still positive, still bullish on all indicators. All indicators, still price action, still uptrend. But it turns sell signal on the last hour of the day. One hour time frame, still positive on the MACD. But still, you see, same story. You see the bearish divergences on one hour. Price action is uptrend. Bearish divergence on the MACD. Bearish divergence on the, on the RSI. Like it's a bearish divergences on on one hour, on four hours for Dow Jones. It means Dow Jones wants to go bearish. Wants to go bearish. Uh, like I always told you, it's bearish divergences. They always worked before and they will continue to work. It's a hundred percent. But the only one minus for divergences, they didn't. They do not tell you the exact time. They will not tell you exactly. They will change the market direction tomorrow or, or in two days. But you have to be ready. It gives you the signal. Be ready for bearish reversal or bullish reversal. In this case, bearish reversal. Be ready. Keep stop tight. Be ready for market reversal signal. Bearish reversal signal. That's all. Let's move to Russell 2000 IWM. Russell 2000, let's see, let's start the weekly also, same, same two market trend direction from the top of the market, it started 14 months ago, it's a weekly time frame, let's see daily, daily it's a bullish, um, IWM positive, it is bullish, look at it, MACD green bullish, Akhaikanachi bullish, Buy signal on the mode, last bar close about 20, MA5 still the bearish crossover over 10, still negative. And generally, all moving averages like 5, 10 and 20 below 200, it is negative territory, it is bearish territory. Signal is bullish, buy signal, but territory is bearish. You have to be careful when you are, when bars and moving averages in the bearish territory it means index is weak is weak but signal is positive signal is positive let's check four hours time frame four hours time frame it's the same uh, four hours time frame Buy signal, MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20, bullish, MACD bullish, RS, uh, high Kanachi bullish, all indicators bullish on daily and 4 hours time frame, still, like I said, all moving averages below white line below 200, it is negative territory, please remember about it. 1 hour time frame, still positive also. Bullish in the last hour sell signal, but MA5 wants to do bullish crossover over 200. You see, this is same bullish signal on moving averages on the moving bullish signal, yeah, on moving averages. Bullish signal on the uh, MACD on the high Kanachi are assigned the overbought territory. It wants to have correction uh, because moving averages is uptrend. That's positive. That's good. They want to go and do bullish crossover over 200. When they when it happened, it will be positive. So far, it's, they are in the negative territory. And remember, MA200 downtrend, white line downtrend. It is, you see down spot, it is negative. It is bearish direction also. Even signal now is positive. Now signal is positive. On all time frames, on one hour, four hours, and daily, it is still positive. But be careful because it's still in the negative territory with negative kind of negative energy. <clears throat> okay, uh, 
let's move to Apple. Let's move to Apple. Apple, part of the technology, right? Like we have this already. Apple, daily time frame. Let's see, let's see what's going on. It's ready. It did perish reversal signal, right? Daily time frame. Apple price action was uptrend for the for last yeah for last since since february for last march april one and a half months it's bullish trend actually it started here started uh, from this point it's a bullish trend was nice nice bullish run but it's ready for bearish crossover ma5 ready for bearish crossover volume is decreasing MACD already changed color from green to red, bearish, bearish divergence on the, on the my, um, MACD indicator, price action was uptrend, MACD downtrend, bearish divergence, RSI bearish divergence, RSI in the bearish territory, Heikonachi red, all indicators bearish on daily time frame for Apple, similar like Q's, Apple negative bearish reversal signal on daily time frame on four hours time frame same story sell signal bearish reverse bearish crossover bearish reversal signal bars below all moving averages except 200 far from 200 it was it was disconnected but it wants to connect macd red bearish high red bearish bearish trend on four hours time frame and one hour time frame for apple let's see also bearish because you see the M820 was uptrend. When M820 uptrend, it's a bullish. When bars above M820, it's a bullish. When bars below M820 and moving averages below 20 and M820 downtrend, it is bearish trend. Remember, it's very simple, but it works 100%. When 20 uptrend and bars above 20, it is bullish. When 20 downtrend, and bars below 20 and moving averages it is downtrend it's a bearish direction very simple okay bearish reversal signal bearish trend on one hour four hours and daily time frame for apple tesla tesla daily time frame let's start it tesla daily time frame let's start it sell signal on the script and my five did bearish crossover remember all moving averages on Tesla on daily time frame below white line, below 200. It is negative territory. It is bearish territory. MA5 did bearish crossover, sell signal on the script, bearish signal. You see the white box? It's a, it's a huge gap that the Tesla left below. And in my opinion, it wants to close it. It wants to fill that gap. It means it will move lower. I don't know if it will be it will be today, tomorrow, in a week, but that's the direction. Bearish direction of MACD on a on a high Kanachi. All indicators bearish. Let's move to four hours. Four hours, similar story. Even it shows the buy signal on the script by all moving averages below 20. It is bearish. MACD is still bearish. High Kanachi turned to green bullish from bearish to bullish we have two indicators bullish three indicators bearish on four hours time frame but all moving averages still about 200 it is it is good it's positive let's move to one hour time frame one hour time frame it's still buy signal in the script still bullish on macd on hikonachi on rsi bullish signal but remember, it's still in the negative territory because MA5, 10, and 20 below white line. It is below 200. It is bearish territory. You see why green line was trying to do bullish crossover, but last two hours it changed direction to downtrend. We'll see. Will it continue to go up and do bullish crossover over 200 and build bullish trend? We will figure out tomorrow. But as of now, it still, it wants to kind of reject it. You see, for last six, six hours, six hours it was touched 200, and each time it was rejected. Each time it was rejected. Will it break out and move bullish, or it will be rejected? It will, it will continue to to go bearish. 
we will figure out tomorrow. Let's move to and remember we follow the trend, we don't fight with the trend. It's easy and profitable to follow the trend. Not to guess. Nobody knows the future. Nobody knows. No tools to tell you the truth the future. It's a speculation about the future. But 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 real current trend it is the fact. It is a trend. And you have to follow. It's like river uh, stream uh, river. You the river has the stream. You have to follow the stream to get to some final destination. You cannot find. You can find, but you will not get anywhere. River will destroy you. Same with the trend. If you follow against the trend, trend will destroy you. Just follow the trend and you will be successful. So easy, so simple. But emotions, I know emotions kills. Emotions kill every trader. That's why 90% traders, they lose money because because of the emotions, they don't trust indicators, they trust emotions and news and politicians. Okay, let's go back. Baba, Alibaba group, minus one, one, almost 2%, minus 2%. Uh, negative day, negative bar, right? Alibaba group. It still has that huge gap between 92. Let me uh, create a... Uh, also, let me create a, let me create a, a square. Like here. Yeah, like here, gap. It's a gap, right? That's what we are expecting to close. So far, it's above all moving averages above. It is positive. My MACD positive, Heikonachi positive, all indicators all positive. No changes so far. Bullish trend only MA5 ready for bearish crossover. Still trend positive. Especially MA20 did bullish crossover over 200. I like it when it's when MA20 does bullish crossover, it is bullish trend until it changes direction. It is bullish trend until it's your friend, right? Okay. Okay, for our time frame, you see May 20 was bullish and it's, it's kind of changing direction. It was uptrend, it's still uptrend, but you see May 5 and 10 already not uptrend. They're kind of curled down. Sell signal in the script, but still positive, still May 20, May 200, still uptrend. We are in the tra trend red range between 105 and 94, still for last several days in the same trend. MACD already bearish sell signal in the script. Uh, Heikonachi red on 4 hours time frame, it's already bearish. It's already bearish. Even moving averages about 200, it is positive zone, but signal already bearish. 1 hour time frame, buy and sell signal, bars and Below 20, all moving averages below 20, sell signal, MACD red bearish, Heikonachi bearish, bearish trend on one hour time frame. You see it definitely wants to go and close this gap. One hour time frame, it wants to go, close the gap, fill the gap, and touch the May 200, test the May 200, and maybe bounce from it. It will be strong support. We'll see. We'll see. It's one hour time frame. Let's move to DXY. DXY USA dollar. USA dollar. Daily time frame. Buy signal. It was negative bar today. Yesterday was positive. Today was negative. But buy signal. MACD green. Heikonachi green. Bullish reversal signal on daily time frame. It is bearish for indexes four hours time frame it is sell signal on four hours time frame it's a, it's a bearish bearish signal right on four hours time frame it's a bearish bearish reversal signal on daily it's a bullish on, on four hours it's a bearish on one hour time frame it's a bearish also that's what we have with us dollar 
That's all. Let's do summary. Let's do summary. Like I already mentioned to you, Q's the most weakest index. Q's is negative on the four hours time frame, on daily time frame. Q's already did gave us bearish reversal signal. And on four hours time frame and the daily, it's ready for bearish trend. All other indexes like SPX, Dow Jones, SMP, and they are bullish, they are positive bullish on all time frames. IWM also bullish signal, but it's the weakest index also because it was on oversold and the all moving average is still below 200. It is negative territory, but signal is still bullish on all time frames. That's what we have. And like I mentioned already, like Apple, mega, mega, mega stocks already negative. That's why Q's is weak and in the bearish trend direction. That's all. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. Please remember for educational purpose, we are using paper trading account. Let's move. Thank you for watching simple trading style video. I do publish daily updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe for YouTube channel and click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.